Star Command Galaxies. <clears throat> so I'm going to be building a ship using our um, our Unity tool or our uh, our science tool. <clears throat> um. So sorry, one sec. I'm just putting up a, a couple notices on Facebook and uh, Twitter, and then I'm going to start building some stuff making the player ship. So, got to kind of redo what we already have for the player ship. Nope, no intrusion. So I will um, get going in one more second. Just one thing to put on Facebook. Uh, yeah. Okay. So basically, I'm going to be using our tool called Science to build a ship for the player to use in the game. Right now, our current ship has some problems. It doesn't have some resources that we needed to have for the demo or for the uh, alpha. And so I'm going to rebuild the ship to have some of the new features that we need. So. I'm going to be doing a couple things. Um, first, I'm just going to start with the layout, um, and then I'm going to kind of figure out some new tiles, throw on some new tiles and things like that. Uh, the game is about commanding space. It's uh, If you go to starcommandgalaxies.com, you can kind of uh, see what the game is about. But essentially, you manage a ship, uh, a crew in space, on a starship. So this still has some bugs, so you might see me like uh, restart. But um, I'll kind of explain this as I go. So um, the goal is a pretty intuitive editor. So you sh a lot of this should feel pretty intuitive. You can see kind of over here are options. So ship, ship holes are over here. We're using the small ship hole um, objects for this ship. And these are what I'm looking for is crew objects. You have your star command, humans, slash humans, uh, the trilax objects, and Torian objects. Um, and then we haven't changed this icon, but planet objects. Right now I'm working primarily in star command objects and in the walls section. So 
I'm going to start by kind of just laying out all the walls for a nice, uh, kind of a nice layout. Um, again, you're trying to capture a kind of a Star Trek type feel. Um, so you want to kind of start with like crew quarters, things like that. Um, so right now I'm kind of starting out with, you know, okay, this is probably where a crew of four or five people work. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try and commentate, but um, I mean, it's primarily an art endeavor, so there's an, it's kind of a touch feel thing. So. So if I'm not talking enough, make me talk. Things are falling. So there's, this is room for three, maybe four people right now. Um, next I'm going to kind of want like an engineering section. I like kind of even lines, so I'm going to use kind of this line right here. It looks like it should be big enough for uh, just about anything up. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. I just cut off the ability to get in there. Or use of space. So let's see. One of the things that the editor does right now that we'll probably fix in the future is it deletes, if I delete a wall, it deletes the floor and the wall. Um, yeah, you can, so science editor is for both. Um, it is a, what you see is what you get editor. So whatever you edit in here, um, I'm basically creating a, a save file a, there's a term we call super object. So you, this is a super object right now, and the game will import it. It'll ignore all these blue tiles, which are science object file or tiles, and it'll place this ship right in the game. So um, I'll show it to you guys in game here as we kind of um, get it get it wrapped up. Um, but yes, yeah, science editor 
um, is kind of, it's both a layout tool and a what you see is what you get editor. All the tools that you use in science are eventually derived in in the game itself for like building ships and things like that. You just can't do all the things that you can do in science in the game, if that makes sense. So I think this is going to be kind of the cargo bay. Oops, not the piece I wanted, this one. Yeah, I like having kind of like a, um, wait, what do you mean make the middle hollow? Like a don't, yeah, I, I, we have like, so if you, if I zoom out, you can see the, the hole, the, the sprite that we have for the hole. So that's kind of a, you don't want to go too crazy where it gets outside of that. Other things, otherwise things will be sticking out once you zoom out. Um, but like right now I, I picture the kind of the middle of this area as like a hallway and I'll put doors up for everyone to get into. How is, how is versioning going to work? Um, it's so basically we're going to be doing, so through the alpha, we're going to be basically um, <laughs> issuing new builds, um, essentially, um, just because of how many new features get into every single build. Um, and then, um, and then later versions, once we get onto Steam and good old games and stuff, will be automatically updated. But, you know, right now the alpha, Send Owl will send you a notification saying, hey, we updated the game and, uh, give you a download link and things like that. Um, the game will be pretty pretty different from build to build. Um, like right now, we're working on what we call basically the day in the life build. So like, what your crew? Oh, see, there's a bug. Um, or did I just miss? No, that just didn't get placed right. Um, but essentially, it's what your crew does during their day. So interacting with things, um, having to eat, all those things, all those central. Um, Gameplay, all those central gameplay modes, essentially. Um, let's get this in. Why well, the doors are acting funny with those? Let's see if it works up here. That is weird. It's a bug. So what we'll do? is save it and load it. Most of the time that fixes things. But those doors should be placing just fine, so I don't know what's going on. Let's put one there. Oh, see that one worked. Go figure. But that one doesn't. So we'll save the map and then we'll reload it and see if it basically we run into problems where there's redundant shapes um let's see human small player ship version four save that and then we'll load it up and see what kind of things get fixed up ah, and see now we've got fixed doors 
Go figure. <laughs> yeah, I can pro the one promise I can guarantee you is there'll be a lot of bugs. So any derivative of that, the types of bugs, that is a, is a guaranteed promise as well. So we've got doors. So we've got kind of some crew quarters set up up here, something that feels like a cargo bay, engineering. Um, I think this is going to be a little small, but hopefully it isn't. And then, um, so this should get you going on a small ship. Um, so let's save that before we start kind of decorating it and screwing it up. Let's see. So now I'm going to start kind of decorating things. So, um, let's start with some of the crew quarters. So they all need a bed. Nope. And then let's give them all a little house plant, decoration. I like that it's kind of like Star Trek where there's like these, it's almost like a hotel where everything's kind of standard issue. And it's not Like something I know I've already forgotten is kind of the kitchen. So let's see. I'll just kind of put the kitchenette out in the hallway. Let's see. How do we want to do this? I forgot the kitchen. So let's get rid of this stuff and make it so we only have two crew quarters. So let's see. We're going to need a kitchen. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Some of it is limiting what you can do. Like, I think we'll probably, let's see. Let's put two beds in one room so two guys can sleep. Let's put it over here so you can see it. Let's grab the house plant. Look at that. Oops. Yes, so in game you'll either need to collect things um, or buy them in order to place them. Um, they come boxed in a box that looks like this, and then you unbox it and then place it on your ship. So you can go to a, a Trilax trade ship and get some Trilax objects or things like that. Let's see, so let's put some more plants. Actually, I'm going to want to move that. And then let's make this the kitchen. So let's put a coffee maker in here. No power. I don't have a power generator yet. Let's get the engine. We got it just right. But one of the primary 
things you have to do in the game is uh, search for Um, you could cheat the game, yeah, it's it's a sandbox builder, so you could basically make a ship with everything on it and make the game very easy, essentially breaking the game. Like any game that's moddable, you could mod the game so that you start with an, an ultimate ship, for sure. Um, clearly the, the out-of-the-box game won't have those abilities, but if you are so inclined as a player, you could do that, yes. Let's get a kitchen. And then let's put a chair over here for you guys to sit down, relax, talk to each other. Um, and we'll go up here to what's kind of like the bridge, put down navigation. And then um, here's our teleporter. I'm gonna actually do this. Let's get rid of this. Um, let's get a. Uh, Let's get some more cool stuff in. So let's put the teleporter in. Oh, where am I going to put that? Hmm. See? It's kind of a bad layout right now. Where am I going to put my teleporter? Hmm. I see one spot for it. So we'll put a couple teleporter pads down. Hmm. You gotta be able to see them, that's important. So we're gonna make this wall short. Maybe we'll just keep this not as a wall at all. Let's do that. Yeah, there'll be, in fact, most players probably won't use science. The tools of science will be in the game, like the ability to place things. But um, um, we will have lots of different types of ships. And uh, kind of like Oregon Trail, sometimes we'll start with a trader type ship. Some will be more um, inclined towards trade or uh, uh, security or science and things like that. Weapons. Let's see, where's my corner piece? Nope. Where is my corner piece? Put another teleporter pad. Yes, that's a big focus for us. We're going to clearly one of the, the big focuses of the game, Kilrathi, is um For us as a design, we want um, the game to be kind of emergent gameplay. So 
Um, one of the problems with Star Command Mobile was we kind of, there was only one way to play it. It was very linear. And with uh, Galaxies, the game is very emergent. Like, your relationship with other captains is dynamic. Um, you can have friends and enemies in the galaxy. Um, and so we don't actually write, um, quote-unquote, write like a con character. That's someone that you kind of develop. So, like, one of the examples we really like is, like, you leave one of your crew member behind on a planet and have to escape a battle. Once you leave the orbit of the planet, um, players, uh, any players you leave behind um, essentially become um, independent again. And so there's a chance that some things can happen. Let's see. Hmm, what the hell happened? Can you guys see this? Sorry, I just hit the refresh button. Anyway, once they become independent, there's a chance that they'll become an enemy or get captured by any, uh, bad guys or something like that. So um, you could essentially spawn your own con. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so let's see. So we've got our teleporter. We've got our teleporter pads. Now we need... This is cargo space. So um, this should cover all of our basic, basic functions on the ship. So now we go for a little bit of decoration. Let's put some art. Maybe a plant. Seats. Yeah, we didn't want to write, one of the big problems, we just didn't want to write, we wanted you to be able to basically like live your own Star Trek story. We don't tell you how the story goes. And so a big requirement for that is like your, your crew all have their own personalities. We wanted to kind of generate like a Kirk Bond or Kirk McCoy Spock, you have your own version of those characters. So that's feeling pretty good. So let's give it a little bit of texture on the floor here. I like to use these grates as indicators of where people will use items and then we put in things like power looks like there's a power conduit going whoops going under here doesn't do anything but it's kind of neat put another conduit here some drainage grates oh someone spilled put a drainage grate there corner um, save this actually let me check make sure there's no ah see we always miss some stuff okay let's save this Let's see, Human Player Ship version 6. And now I'm going to do something really boring. I'm going to set up. Now let's make sure that's saved. Yep, okay. So now I'm going to do something kind of boring. Um, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to basically build a. Uh, I'm going to pull in some new sprites here. So this is our current sprite sheet. Um, for the for the ship, and it's kind of boring. It's just kind of different gradients. 
um, of the same tiles. So what I'm going to do is bring in some new tiles like this rug so that we can build it on our ship. Um, so it's a little kind of boring, but it gives you an insight into how we put things together. Whoops. Shouldn't take me long at all. I'll do it really fast so I don't bore you guys to death. Oops. You piece of junk. There we go. So we're going to change our sprite sheet to be a little bit more fun. Uh oh. I missed one. Turn the pencil tool. Oops. Okay, so now this is one rug. And I'll show you how, kind of how this works. Feel free to ask any questions if you guys have them. I love answering questions. So I'm going to try and get this in the same order. Tell me if I'm too boring for you guys. I know this is kind of inside baseball stuff. Like, oh, yeah, I get to watch this guy put together a sprite sheet, but it won't take me long. <laughs> this isn't boring. I think you're, is that is that sarcasm? I feel like that was sarcasm. This part's boring. I, even I know that. Come on, it's boring. I'm doing it, and it's boring. Mm -hmm. This guy right here. Let's see, this one needs to go, yeah, let's put it right here. Yeah, it technically needs to go right. I got one of these screwed up, but it won't matter. I know where it's at. Where it be? All right. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, and here's like our cargo. So we've got like a cargo bay and some other ones. Um, so basically, I'll tell you what I'm actually doing. So like, if you look at, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So if you look at our sprite sheet, this is our sprite sheet right now for all the tiles in the game. If we go back to our editor, where did I put it? Uh, in Unity, if you look at the game, we go over here to the sprite sheet. These are the sprites. And right now, what I really want is something that looks, um, do Chris Walken. Uh, I'll design like Chris Walken. Um, but let me, because uh, I'm, your, I'm your circus clown. I'll do what you say. How high should I jump? Uh, like, I'll show you what we're actually going for. Um, so here's our concept for a cargo bay, if that makes sense. So you can see that the tiles are kind of significantly different and it feels like it's industrial and you can put all the stuff inside there. And right now that tile sheet isn't prepped. So right now I only have these gray ones to work with. So what I'm working on is getting, um, <laughs> what I'm working on two different actors like all right I can do that I need a beer for that um, I'll get a beer why not let's get a beer and make some games huh uh, let's see so we go back into Photoshop here 
So what I'm doing is prepping these assets to be put into there. So I just put in the rug right here. You can see I just replaced this old grass that we're not using. Um, and what I'm trying to do is get the rest of these in. I know it's really boring. So um, if you guys bear with me, I'll show you cool stuff for, for hanging in there. I'll show you the actual game and what we're actually doing, where, where this all comes to fruition. Why are we doing all this work? Why is it fun? And I'll show you where it's fun. This is the stuff you have to do before you can make it fun. I wish I could do, I could do a decent Christopher Walken, but I really need a beer to do that. I need to get a beer so I can get drunk while I make a tile sheet. There you have it. Hey, Tim? Yes. Do we have beer in the fridge? No beer. Ooh, cans of ale. Yeah, they're gross. Those are limited production cans of ale. No, I I live right next to the office. Ooh, orange juice. Quite the sugar rush. I know this is so boring compared to what we are at what was advertised. I'll have to be the entertainment. Let's see. Where does this one go? Oops. This one goes here. We could talk politics. You guys want to talk politics while I while I put this together? No, no one wants to talk politics. See, this is different. Jordan can Jordan can talk all the work on stuff. I usually just tell him what you should do. Let's see. That's because it's second nature. I've done sprite sheets so many times. Oops. All right. Let's see, where does this one go? Oh no, I lost track. Oh, all right. No, right here. I'll show you here, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it up and show you something cool. For every five minutes of boring, I'll show you something cool. So here's our master sprite sheet, where all this stuff comes from. Um, so you can see how many assets, oh, loading, we have in the game. So like here's a, this is a fire control room, and here we'll go up here to the, uh, here's the variants, the Varian, um, the Varian ships. Here's the, here's the uh, Antorians with their slugs. Um, here's a here's all of our new crew classes. So you've got uh, lots of dudes. Just the other day, I painted this guy right here, the um, a Trilax trader. And one of the other things that we're implementing in the game uh, here's like the cortex where they uh, they capture dead bodies and skin them and then turn them into brains. Um, we're really shooting for ambience, ambiance in the uh, in the game this time. So when you go onto a Cortex ship, it's really creepy and um, a lot of other stuff like that. So uh, you know the Varian ship should be you know one of the things we've talked about is the Antorians um, 
are immune to radiation and their ships are full of radiation so you have to wear spacesuits to invade them. Um, so there's tactical elements as well as cosmetic elements to the uh, character archetypes. Um, Let's see, tiles, man, tiles. <laughs> I I technically am one of the bosses, so I I don't ever get to, I don't tell anyone I, I never stop working. I work all the time. I'll stop working when I'm dead. All right, we're in track. We are on track. <laughs> So now we make sure. <laughs> okay. Just these two to do, and then we're all set. And I appreciate your guys' patience. I know this is kind of boring. But it'll be worth it. Because you'll have a different tile. Hmm, <laughs> Glavin. There, Parker, you want to, if I give you my card, you want to go, or here, you want to grab the cash off the windowsill and go get some beer? Just cash on the, on the seal right down there. All right, so let's see. Oh, you showed something boring again, so show, show something cool. What would be cool? Let's see. Um, the game is cool. I want to show you the game. I want to show you guys people eating and stuff like that. That stuff's cool. Um, that's really what I want to show you. All right, let's go to this. Here, give me another impression to do. Uh, <laughs> kind of. He gets to drink the beer too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And it's Friday, right? Friday, two o'clock my time. Okay, one more to do. See, we're cruising. We're going. Let's get this over here. Oops. Oh, no. I didn't put that on top of the other one, did I? Oh, I did. Oh, no. I'll just redo that. I screwed that up. Whoops. I screwed something up. How far back did I go? There. Whoops. Screw that up. Boom. Okay, get that out of the way there. See, now I'm getting careless. Screw that up. And now you guys are back to being bored. Who draws the sprites? I am, we have three, four artists. Tim Johnson, I think he's in here. I thought I saw him. He is, these are actually, oh, he was in here, but he's not in here anymore. Tim Johnson, he's in Sweden, I believe. He's one of our extremely talented um, artists. Uh, I do art um, and both uh, my brother Justin does art and my brother Parker does art. So we do a lot. There's a lot of artists. The game has a lot of assets. We might call it a fuck ton. Alright. Alright. Back to where I just was 10 seconds ago. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oops. What's really fun about this game and game development in general is that as we go along, 
the changes are more pronounced and quicker to do. Well, something that's wrong. It's important that I cover the exact, the old sprite exactly, otherwise some weird shit will happen. Uh, we could have a problem. No, we're good. Yeah, that's good. Take that opacity down. Okay. Oh, I got that in the wrong room. It's always something. Guys. And I'm listening to Dance Yourself Clean, so I'm gonna like rock out. As well to make to make mods without sprites from the game. Um, is it possible to make mods without a sprite? If you want to make your own sprites, that's exactly basically what I'm doing right now. So um, you can make mods. Um, you can take sprites from anywhere, really, if you want to make them yourself or grab sprites from uh, another isometric like SimCity or something like that and put those in here. That would be that would work. Um, we really want it to be fast and easy and painless to be so that the number one thing you have to focus on is what you want to make, not how to make it. So um, a beginner's knowledge in Photoshop or one of the other free um, uh, pixel art programs, a little bit of artistic talent and uh, some drive and you can basically make anything in our game. And this will show you exactly how quickly it is, how quickly you can make stuff in galaxies. Because I'm about to put it in the game in about one more minute. Boom. Okay. Uh-oh. No. 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 Something's wrong. But we're close. It's the details, folks. Um, something's wrong. All right, here's the original. We gotta make sure nothing's sticking out. Oh, something's sticking out. Yeah, that's okay there. Though. Let's make sure nothing's sticking out over here. That's all right. Okay, we're good. I should just make those invisible, but I'm not gonna do that. Do it there right now. Actually, I will. Anything we're not using, I'm gonna get rid of. Goodbye. All right, there we go. Now, we save this, floor human. As a sprite, save it to my desktop. Save. Do Al Pacino. I'm a horrible Al Pacino. Can't do Al Pacino. That's bad. Anyone else? War, War Balloon's based in Longmont, Colorado. Let's see. Yes, it has been five minutes, but I'm about to put it in the game, so go to hell. Let's see. So I just got to import that into Unity. So, we've got this saved. Here's our ship. We've got to kill Unity. Stop the simulation. Oh! Samuel Jackson. Those are brutal. Samuel Jackson and Al Pacino. There's the beer. The beer. All right, let's see here. Okay, so now, here's the floor human. This is the sprite sheet we're replacing. We grab the one off of the desktop. Make sure this is right, yep, looks good. 
Um, here, there's a quick way to do this actually. That's painful. We've got a finder, and now we just replace that bad boy. Bingo. All right. Now we can do the fun stuff. Back to fun stuff. Back to cool stuff. Back to the coolness. Yoda Jackson. Oof. If I have a couple beers, I can do a Yoda Jackson. All right. That bit that just screwed up so many things. We're about to find out. All right. Load up our map. Get your beer. I'm getting my beer. Here, I'll leave it right here. I'm going to go get my beer. Okay, there's a ship. Let's check the sprite sheet so I know whether I'm going to be in a good mood when I get back or bad mood. Oh, bad mood. Why did that not load? Hmm. Oh, I think I know exactly why that didn't load. I know exactly why that didn't. How far down have we gone? All right. I know how to fix that. Get in the beer, then I know how to fix it. No. Ha <laughs> It's on! Hallelujah! Okay, that is weird. That is in the bottle of the paddle. Right there. That too. Mom, we So now we just need that for heal, unbox, and everything else. Oh, it doesn't do anything yet? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Consult with Kit. All right, back. Had to get a beer. That was critical. Let's see. Okay, so that didn't work. We gotta. I know why it doesn't work. I forgot that our sprite sheet goes only so high. It only loads the first couple rows. So, quick, easy, and this fix is to move all this. Mm. Why is that off? Or is it off? Something's off. Yes. 
Fax me some of that beer? All right, yeah. What's your fax number? I'll send that right over. All right, well, this would be interesting. Something looks funky, but we're going to try it anyway. Let's move this up a row. Oops. Wrong one. Wrong one. Mm -hmm. That's right here. Boom. Okay. And then put this guy up a row. Right now. I basically have it to the two. Hmm. So I don't think that's enough room. Okay. And we're unfortunately using a lot of these. Hey man, fax me your beer. Alright. Right. I don't know how much we just got. We're going to find out. Okay, replace that. Alright, now go back into Unity. Alright, let's see it. Oh, where's my beer? I'm going to the game. Chill out. Uh, here, it's, a, it's plugged in if you want to turn it on. Hey, grab, uh, grab the mouse off of Ryan's desk and the keyboard. Okay, let's see. Tiles, please work. Yes. Uh, that's discouraging. Why is that not working? Hmm. That means it's not loading this on the fly. Which means I'm probably replacing the wrong floor. Oh yeah, there it is. Where is this? Streaming assets, visual sprites. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> I know where you're wrong. I bet it works. I just didn't change icons. Alright. Let's see. Where's the PC? On the right of the TV. Uh, let's see. So now we do streaming assets, visuals, sprites, UI. Nope. UI. Store. Object icons. Okay. This is the problem. Bingo. I gotta replace that file. Alright. Q floor. Boring. What's the password? Q floor. There we go. Hey, Ken, can you explain the multiple characters action filter state before I Bingo. Uh, die? Could you show maybe later the biggest ship? No, because we haven't finished it. <laughs> Some of it is still up for debate about how big a ship can get because you run into a problem where eventually. 
they can be massive, as you can tell. And um, we're not 100% sure how big a ship can get before the gameplay starts to suffer because it's just so massive. Thank you. What's that? Oh, it's, yeah. All right, let's go to this. Turn that down. Bingo. All right. <clears throat> so now it's a little. We're back to what we're shooting for. I'm trying to make. this type of hole right here so that's what we're trying to make we start with the floor objects are those? Mm. oh um So, Boom. There's one. one. One panel. Let's take a look at the questions. So is it possible to use the same outlook of the ship but change the tiles in, of the ship and make it bigger? Yeah, you could kind of do that. You could... This could... The, uh, the floor could actually poke out of the ship if you wanted to. There's no actual restrictions based on this thing, but it wouldn't look very good. But I'm sure lots of players will make that kind of content. And I say more power to them. I didn't get all the tiles. I'm just gonna make some of this hard. I don't know why all those didn't come. I was going to lose it. Okay. See, um, and I gotta go all over the map here to find these. 
So now it's starting to feel like the right room. This is all basically a waste of time at this point because I have to redo the entire spreadsheet, but you get the gist. So let's see. Can you say the panel layout like that now and lay it out like that now? Yes. I've got, I screwed up a couple of things, so I'm gonna have to redo a lot of this, but I wanted to show you guys kind of what, what I was going at. Some, I'm gonna to have to move some, uh, some of the sprites and that will essentially break everything that I just did. So I'm gonna to have to redo it, but you get the gist. So let's save this ship and then play it in the game. All right, so human, small, player, ship, version seven. So I'll show you guys what this looks like in game now. Let's see. There's all this crap. Hey Tim? Yeah. What's the name of the player default ship? The player default ship the small pass two that doesn't work on? Uh which is the one that no, which is the one that the game is booting up when you start when it starts up? Right now it's small pass two. Two battles one that loads up the entire spacing. Small pass two is the one that Small test two, and that's in. Um, is that under saves? I think that's under save science. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not looking at the thing right now. I'm just changing the file name so I can just boot this up really quick rather than porting it and stuff. Okay, so we just change this to our new. All right, so now we turn off science mode. Mm. There we go. Turn off science and get the game going. Yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics is awesome, and it's a huge influence on us, on our job classes and things like that. Oh, and I crashed. <laughs> 